How can I completely absorb and remember the information in books I read? I often forget parts of what I read if it is too long or complex. So this sounds like an active reading question. Yes. Um, there's several ways you can do it. I think the best way to remember the information in books you read is to uh, take notes and summarize it. I mean, when you put things in your own words, just like when you take notes in a lecture, you're, you're intaking the information, but you're also having to shape it into something that you can turn into your own words, uh, your own letters on the page. You retain it more. Yeah, it's something like the Feynman, Feynman, Feynman thing? technique. Because yeah. you're basically teaching yourself when you write the notes in your own words. They have to be in your own words. Feynman, if you just so, copy a passage, it doesn't work. Fi- yeah, but Feynman technique is a little bit further. And I guess like, fi- like the Feynman technique is probably like the ultimate way to, to remember something because you are trying to put it into words that somebody who's a complete layman would understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's yeah. the extra. This is just like the mini version where you're trying to put it in your own words for yeah. yourself. Yeah. You'll understand it later. But um, and the problem with this is like it gets overwhelming. If you're a student, you have umpteen different reading assignments that you have to do every single week. And even if you're not, if you're like us, you have this goal to read for every, like, a, I don't know, 20 minutes for you every yeah. day. Yep. And if you marry this goal to read consistently with the goal to understand and remember everything you read, it quickly gets overwhelming Yeah. because that can turn your 20 minute reading goal every day into 20 minutes of reading and 40 minutes of rereading and note taking oh, yeah. and summarizing. And now you've just created an hour of work for yourself, you know, and if you have time for that, cool, but anybody got time for that. Yeah. So depending on the context of what you're reading, like for me, the answer is simply, I don't remember all the information. Mm -hmm. A nonfiction book to me is fantastic if one change from it is something I adapt into my life. Yeah. And I've gone back to things like essentialism when I needed new new inspiration, and then I'll take a second lesson from it. Yeah. But I never just read one nonfiction book and come out of it. Magically, my life is a perfect representation of what I just read. Mm -hmm. I will forget 90% of it. And, And that's kind of okay because the the stuff's still in my brain somewhere waiting to wake up when I maybe think of something that connects to it. 